Howdy. We are going to be looking at the Phantasma Prime. I am doing a video on this because someone recommended I try it and they wanted me to give some information on it. They were someone in my last stream, or at least the last stream as of when I'm making this video, named Gabe. So, and they gifted me, well gifted, traded to me for free, the parts to craft Phantasma Prime. So thank you very much Gabe for that. And that's why we're here, doing this video. So Phantasma Prime, of the normal Phantasma, is actually barely better. It does have more in the reserve ammo, which is nice because this has huge ammo problems. Instead of 275, it is now sitting at 330 for the Prime, but other than that, it just has better crit chance and crit damage, which isn't going to affect your builds for the most part since this is not a crit weapon even in the Prime form. It is very much a status weapon. It has 6 multi-shot at base and 22.2% status per projectile. Now, if you don't know, that's fucking insane. That's a lot of status. And it's a beam weapon. Now, I know, I know, I don't have the arcane unlocked. That's depressing. But don't worry about it, because it is what it is. That would just make the damage higher and... Besides, I'm kind of lacking in the arcane department, as in I don't have Vendetta maxed out. Shotgun Vendetta at R5 would be insane. You could also go Deadhead, since heat procs, if you get a headshot with the heat proc, can proc Deadhead, I believe. Fairly certain it can. And Merciless is also an option, or Dexterity, whatever you like. A lot of options. But you don't even need an arcane for this thing to kill. So, this is how the first way I'm going to show it built. Pure Heat. We have ammo mutation please put ammo mutation on this thing has so much ammo problems its biggest downside is honestly it's horrible ammo economy prime shotgun ammo mutation would be so nice here but we have pure heat scattering inferno blaze incendiary coat prime point blank prime to ammo stock just to give us a bigger mag pass you don't actually need this you're probably better off with something else i just like it Amalgam Shock and Barrage for Fire Rate, Galvanized Savvy, so we get more status chance and more damage because we're applying Impact, Heat, and Radiation, so we get a fair bit of damage out of this. It's not multiplicative on Phantasma, though, sad face. At least I'm 95% sure it's not. And then Galvanized Hell. Typical Heat build. Now, I know Corrosive Heat, Viral Heat, you would think, oh, that'd be way better, but in my experience, I think it's better to build Pure Heat and outsource armor strip or viral because this thing has so much status that if you are putting that on you are going to hit max viral or corrosive stacks in about a tenth of a second if not less this thing literally does hundreds to thousands of status procs very quickly so having a status that caps out like that is really really unfortunate it's a massive waste to status procs that could be heat procs for bigger heat ticks instead so first i'm going to show it with just heat but i do have viral from nourish on my mag which i will use the ability to activate to show you the difference with viral active and obviously without it active right and then we also have armor strip i can show by using fracturing crush but first we're just going to show the weapon as it is with the build i showed it just pure heat I okay I don't know why it shows pans are up there it's not equipped it must just be from earlier so the damage is obviously going to not be incredible until we ramp it up with the power of condition overload on weapon or right gun CO galvanized savvy in this case because it's on shotgun but after we get that kill now we get a stack and why do I feel like the damage just went down? Am I schizophrenic? I mean, I am, but like at the same time, that was questionable. I want to get enough stacks that we can like properly show. Okay, so now that we have a decent bit of stacks, one magazine, 279 heat procs, and it's can't, oh, just barely didn't kill just barely didn't kill the enemy without corrosive or viral and we only have three statuses for our galvanized savvy i think that's quite strong that is very respectable to say the least look at that one mag scene and killed them 
but obviously you are going to want to add viral into the mix. Nourish helps because even though it's adding a weapon based modded viral 64%, that's at least not too bad. And because we aren't we don't have viral in the weapon and we can put more heat, it helps to make sure the heat has a higher weighting than viral does. But I still think Panzervolt file is a much better option just so you get even more heat procs by not having viral in the weapon itself. But we will show it with Nourish. So now that we have 64% viral into the mix, our damage is definitely going to be much higher. We need to get our, you know, our stacks back up for all of our mods and stuff. But you can see that it's already definitely doing more damage. So this is with almost max stacks. It only takes about half a magazine to kill them. This is without any armor strip. So something this the Phantasma does, right? You can see it shoots this weird beam that like waves side to side. Is it has infinite body punch through. It cannot go through terrain, as you can see, but it can punch through all of these enemies, as you can see, without any punch through on the weapon. So that is quite nice to have. Very very juicy to say the least you could build for crit on this though i don't think it's worth it with the weapons stats that it has on its own since it's such a status heavy weapon so if you were to go for crit you definitely want to do it with something else i know i said or i know there's going to be people in the comments that are like oh you're not modding phantasma right if you want to get the most out of the weapon i firmly believe that just modding pure heat and outsourcing is just the best option you can use it by building viral heat corrosive heat if you wanted that's not a horrible option and it will work in most content but if you want to get the most out of it it's definitely a weapon that's worth building into by using other stuff in your build to make it work to get the most damage so we can add in Pains of Obophila, which will spread spread viral, giving us the viral without having to give us or use nourish, meaning we aren't locked in with a certain helmet ability. And then it also means that we aren't going to have lower heats waiting because of the viral. On top of that, we also get Tenacious Bond for 1.2 final crit multiplier, giving us more crit damage. Now we're at 3.1. Then if you want to make the weapon crit, since it's not really worth putting a crit mod on, as per the usual, you can always slap an Arcane Avenger and then put on combat discipline so that if you're getting kills, you can consistently proc it. Um, I'm just going to put an unranked one on, but I'm going to unpause the enemies so that they can damage me and I can, you know, proc Arcane Avenger without hoping RNG loves me. So we will make us invincible, unpause the enemies, and simulate. Now we're going to need our Panzer Vulpophila. Wait, first I'm gonna suck the enemies in a bit. And wait for our Panzer to do his thing, right? Has he applied viral at all? Okay, there it goes. Okay, now we're taking some damage. We are still obviously going to need to build up our stacks. But as you can see, when you're able why is that guy so tanky? I feel like that guy should have died a long time ago. As our stacks build up, that's some big PP damage right there from a heat proc. Very, very juicy. But we're still lacking the biggest thing here that would increase our damage. The biggest thing would be armor strip, obviously. And we do not have that. So if you were to use a frame that could strip the enemy's armor, they're gonna melt like butter, like a 10,000 degree knife to a already melted stick of butter. So let's say switch to Hildren. We, are, we won't be using Arcane Avenger, so no building into the crits this time. We still have Viral from Panzer Vulpophila though. It's just that now we have armor strip. Actually, wait, I need to build that kin full strip in a single cast, here we go. Now I'm gonna pause them again. Go in, wait for our Panzer. Come on, Volpe, do your thing, do your thing. Why, thank you, my good sir. Did it not actually proc because status chance is a bitch? There it goes, okay. Again, again, as I always say, we have to get our stacks up on all the things. Now watch this. Let's 
let's just just a little tiny bit let's you you can see that the um the damage is a bit absurd to say the least and this is really good for like an enemy that you need to melt down and apply like a thousand heat procs in what would be insane on this ribbon is if you or on this weapon is if you had a ribbon that was plus status chance and plus heat and a multi-shot status chance heat multi-shot would be ridiculous on this thing you would be able to, to apply so much heat procs to an enemy i mean look at this do i even need to say why it's strong it obviously destroys given that you have armor strip and like i showed earlier it's not bad without it now i feel like people are likely gonna there's gonna be few people very mad in the comments with how i'm showing it and how i'm building it but they can get fucked because i from what i've seen as far as weapon loving people right like sims for specific weapons um phantasma lovers are some of the most toxic people in the community right i see a lot of people that get real pissed if you don't build phantasma exactly as, as they say which is funny like come on it doesn't matter it's a freaking sandbox game build it however the fuck you want but yeah that's gonna be it for the phantasma prime i'd say right you can try it out put some different stuff on it this is the way i personally think building is it is the best you can go for like electric procs or something else if you wanted to but i think heat is definitely the best way to go so yeah uh thanks for watching and adios